other have some other things want to show to you because <laughs> we send Rick for this question. And I think it, maybe this it, it's a chance you can also answer us the question. This is uh, Nico. Oh. Uh, and uh, some of the library, they use the nano-coated nickel to produce CO2 gas. Uh, although um, Carolina had the uh, uh, transfer your message that we should use nano-coated copper to make CO2 gas. Uh, but uh, we would rather you explaining in more details because uh, some people, they had the test result. I mean, from, yeah, for the, for the, uh, for the for the gains they had made it out from nano coated nickel and with the zinc, and they think the test uh, the curve is the looks the same, and uh, so they think it's the, the same, and even the gains looks yes, more you beautiful. Still, no, you still produce uh, CO two if you use nickel, and. Um, zinc plate because part of the spectrum of the isotopes of nickel will fall into that category of creating but it's not the same co2 as we do okay so uh, um, it's Yes, so you, you still produce um, what do you call the um, the gans uh, of uh, CO two. You still produce, but you don't produce the uh, what do you call it? It's a different strength as the what do you call the CO two of the uh, what we use with the copper. Okay. You can use any elements, you can use any combination of elements that the atomic mass difference is carbon. It's not just that the copper is the only thing, but nickel is hard for a lot of people to reach. Copper can be done in any household. Do you understand? Okay, but but so it's uh, maybe dangerous for people to drink the gas water out of the nickel uh, or titanium or something to make the CO2 gas, right? Pardon? Uh, I mean, uh, is it to be dangerous to drink the gas water, which is uh, made out of the nano-coated nickel or nano-coated titanium uh, with the zinc? What do you mean by that? Uh, yeah, because you, 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 you told us the, the strength of the field is different, uh, but if, uh, yes, I mean... Yes, but as I, said, as I said, not all the hydrogens are the same, not all the oxygen are the same. So you produce uh, CO2, but not of the same strength as you do with the copper, and not the same strength as you do with nickel. You can use, for example, let's say, for reference sake, you can use uh, aluminium and um, potassium to produce CO2 too, if you find the right isotopes. We don't produce the CO2, we create the condition of the gravitational magnetic field of the plasma of the carbon. Oh. Which is, this is the difference with the technology. We don't go to produce. In between the two plates, if the difference in the gravitational magnetic field, the strength, is the strength of the copper, then you attract copper. You understand? If the strength is, we've seen it with uh, Peter's work in um, Austria. If you create a gravitational field, the strength that is of zinc, you produce zinc. But if you don't put it in the salt, if you do it in the salt water, most probably you get a zinc oxide. If you take the salt water out and do it in the plain paper, we see what we saw with Peter. You collect the matter state, because now you dictated you want in the matter state. 
of the matter. If you can, if you can, put a zinc plate and a copper nano-coated plate or any other material in a position that they don't, they are not in the salt water, but they are in the medium of the air, you will collect solid carbon from the floor. Pure carbon, not carbon oxide. Uh, yes, uh, so I, I you know create that... a magnet of the field, so they can use nickel or anything else, but the nickel with the, with the, what you call, zinc plate, it's, some of the isotopes are creating the uh, gravitational magnetic field of the plasma of the carbon. So you create a couple, but your CO2 created by nickel is not the same strength as the uh, CO2 created by the copper and zinc. You understand? Yes, yeah, I understand that. But uh, is it also the uh, uh, have the same effective uh, to use it into no, the no. medicine or something like that? No. No, 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 no. One could be stronger than the other because now you most probably use a higher strength carbon. This is the, this is the thing which uh, uh, we have to learn. The carbon produced, uh, the CO2 produced from the nickel um, is most probably much stronger uh, carbon level uh, strength in the spectrum of the plasma than the one which is from the copper even though you still get CO2, now this, this carbon gravitational magnetic field, because it's stronger, it attracts to itself most probably lower order oxygens to balance itself out, to be able to stand the environment of the, uh, the salt, because you cannot change that. Or in some cases, it might be reverse. So it is, gravitational total, in totality, gravitational magnetic field of CO2, but of different strength. Yeah, but if people drink that kind of gas water, is it... Uh, yeah, okay. Well? No, yeah, yeah, okay. Let me tell you something else, if you go that... Um, let's say CO2, which you do with copper, because it's connected to the, what I call, to the zinc, touches the systems in the body of the man, which are connected with the neurosystem. When you change it to a CO2 from nickel, it could only apply to part of the neurosystem which have the nickel magnetic field of strength, which is the higher order. So it can have a higher effect in one sense or the other. It does not touch those which are from the CO2 of the copper, because the two have to match. You might see a better results with nickel for Alzheimer's, because Alzheimer's needs a higher potential, uh, what do you call it, um, uh, zinc level, because you are not using the same zinc uh, isotope in the same plate, when you use a copper or when you use the nickel. And then this is what you have to learn, to use different materials for different strength, for different diseases, you can do that. But it, it might help in, let's say, with Alzheimer, but they'll do nothing with the emotional depression, because everything has its own strength field you, 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 I can produce um, carbon from the materials which you see no relevance to each other, but the field of strength in the center is of the hydrogen, uh, what do you call it, as a carbon, which matches the amino acid. The minute you get the amino acid on the top, the field of strength of the carbon is dictated, and it's a different amino acid, not all the same.
Yeah, I'm thank clear. you so much. Yeah, that's clear, very clear, and uh, I'm exciting to know that. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, and also you, 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 you got to remember you now with what you brought on the table. You you have a selection of the CO twos by different materials. And if you look at even the colors, they should be slightly different. Thank you. I think a lot of the Chinese library, they learned a lot from this and uh, that's, that's quite good. Thank you very much, Lisa. Thank you very much.